turn these clog nozzles into a crisp, clean, ready to go nozzle. I'm trying to get this light in here so you guys can see all the way through. I have an electric melter, so it obviously helps things quite considerably. But brass melting point is at about 1600 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm gonna set it up to probably around 800 degrees. But you guys can use the same principle. It doesn't have to be an electric melter, but something similar. This is used for melting gold and precious metals. It's an electric melting furnace, but you guys can use something else with this principle. Um, this is the actual graphite crucible that goes inside of the melting chamber. So we're gonna go ahead and drop our pieces in there now. One, two, three. So they're in there. And then we'll check back. All right guys, let's go ahead and check on these. Bear with me. I'm going to dump these out right on the concrete. Look at that, guys. I'm going to rinse them off in a second after they cool naturally. You don't want to just dump them in water, you'll distort the metal. But let's go ahead and let them cool and rinse them off and see the difference. Alright guys, the nozzle's directly out of the oven. You see the typical burn marks? This is any time metal has been subjected to heat. Um, but I wanted to show you this look at you see even the black residue still coming out like charcoal. Um, I wanted to show you guys this, these nozzles directly as they came out of the oven. The main goal now is to see if we can get a direct line of light that's coming right through the nozzle and right through the um, extruder end. So let's take a look now and see if we can get it. There's one. Let's see if I can focus. Look at that. There's one. That's one. Two for two. No cutting. I'm showing you guys very straightforward, real results. Uh-oh. We still have debris in here. I saw it. There it is. Three for three. Hard to get it. That one could obviously add a little bit when you have this on the actual machine is I would just use your needle to just scrape any of the outside edges, but it's unclogged. Last one, let's see if a four for four. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. Fumble fingers. Four for four guys. All right, well, that's the process. You can use it in any other different application method let's say so if you can get these you know heated up to around 800 degrees let them set sit for a little bit however you do it um, is your way but just be careful when you're doing it um, and you can get these things unclogged the whole name of the game is to heat up the metal to where it will not distort or melt but where the pla will come oozing right out all right good luck guys digi out firing chamber inside that's what gets this crucible hot which is melting the metals or for our case melting the plastic out of the metals because we put it to a temperature that it's going to make the plastic melt before any of the metal would melt all right hopefully you guys enjoyed this method 
and I hope you guys can find a different process if you don't have an electric melter that can replicate the same idea. Alright, good luck.